Jesus died because of you, there was death in his death on the cross. But something that would change man. See, there's something that God had about this. He said, if man knows the love of God, so too he'll come to know righteousness and truth. See, the righteousness of God is this, that we come to him in all simplicity of faith and say, Lord, be merciful to me, the sinner that I am. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner because I know I need the righteousness of God beyond all question. I need to know a righteous God in my life and being. I need to know the quickening of the eternal God in my being. This is why Jesus came. We might be cut off from the Spirit. We might know again the joy and the passion of the eternal God. God died that we should be forgiven. Not we should pass by. Not we should be on the other side. But we should know Him. And knowing Him, know righteousness and truth. The truth of God is this, if you put your trust in him, he'll bring you to eternal life. That's why he came. He said, our lives are going to die from death, a life of going down into death. All sorts of things will bring us down into death. But God came to us in Jesus Christ, that we know by the Spirit, we might know that eternal life that was not meant to be us. You know, it is true that Jesus said, sin shall not have dominion over you. Why did he say that? Because it cost he said to you, you can know the place, but sin should not have dominion over you. In Jesus Christ, you have come to know that place where you've got forgiveness in Jesus Christ. You've got forgiveness in him. Why? Because he came. He came the bearer of love. He came because he was the, the king of love. The king of love, my shepherd is. Goodness never fails. Jesus came that we might know that goodness and know the goodness of God towards us. We are condemned because we don't know Jesus. Not because it's not knowing Jesus is the important issue. The important thing is that we need to know God. And God in Jesus Christ has made us alive and quick in Him that we should know that in Him we have no condemnation. Why? Because Jesus put all, Jesus came with all the power. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He that cometh unto me, I will no wise cast out. That's a glorious promise that we should come to Him, that we should come to Jesus as Lord of life. We should come to him and know that he was the bearer of life. He that knows the Son shall have life and have eternal life. This is the life that God intended us to have. Not no longer should death have any dominion over us. We should know righteousness and truth. You know the sting of death is gone because I know Jesus. The sting of death is gone. Not because I know I'd be sorry about those I've lost loved ones, but because I know in that day that sin has done away with that unrighteousness of his mind. That's the love of it. The love of God that my unrighteousness can be made clean and new in him. He came that I might know the truth and the reality, that there is truth in him. He who knows the Son knows life. He knows life indeed. He that knows the Son knows life, but he does not know the Son. He does not know life. He hasn't begun to know it. Jesus came that we might be the bearer of that sin. We should know that in Jesus we have life eternal. This is the life of God. He has no joy in the death of a sinner. For a sinner will go down into death because he's a sinner. But you know, we know no sting in death because we know in Jesus Christ we've got eternal life. The life of God for us. Why should it be that our life should be profitable to God? Why should we not be profitable to God? God says the sin that you have will make you unprofitable to God unprofitable to all things. But God says today, if you come to know Jesus Christ, you'll know the profit of an eternal life. You'll know the life of being, the life of eternal God in your being. And you'll know that Jesus died for you. Jesus died that you and I might be forgiven. He was the one who came, put himself in the way. He took him in the way of our, our death. He put himself in the way of our emptiness. He put in the, ourself in the way of the things that are against us. He said, sin shall not have dominion over you. Why? Because Jesus came. He came that we should no longer be the servants of, the, of, of sin, but we shall be alive and quick in God. And that's going to be a tremendous thing for God to do. Yes, God desires not the death of a sinner, but he longs that we know righteousness and truth in him. And this is the truth we shall know. We shall know goodness, and grace and favor, the love of God towards us, the love of God towards my fellow beings, the love of God for those who come to him will know righteousness and truth forevermore. Jesus died so forthwithly. He 
He said, I will go down into the grave. On the third day, I will rise again. Why did he rise again? It was for me he rose again. He could have gone on to eternal life without me. But he knows that in me, I needed that. I needed that assurance that there was life forevermore in him who believed. He believes in Jesus, knows righteousness and truth. Not because of who he is, because he begins to know goodness of God, goodness of God towards us. He begins to know the goodness of God has turned us away from our sin, turned us away from the things that are impossible, and make us to know the prophet of God, which is eternal life to him that believes. If you know Jesus, you begin to know him. You know him as your Lord and Savior. You're so glad about it. You're so glad that he came, that you should know just that, that you have trust in him, that you can trust one who is the Holy One, the Holy One of God. And Lord, you said to me, the sinner that I am, I can turn me around. You can make me to know righteousness and truth beyond my understanding. I'm so glad that I've got things in store for me because God has given me life eternal. I know it because I've received it. I've received his son. I've received him as the order of my life. I know that he's the Lord of God, the King of glory. And I know that King is my King. And I'm so glad that I can be subject to him. Oh yes, I shall know sin. Sin comes but to me so easily. I find an acquaintance with it. But I know that Jesus Christ, I'm being won from it by his grace. I'm being won to know life eternal. I put my faith in the one who is the living one, the eternal one, the one who brings life to him that believes. And as we know Jesus, so we begin to know life for ourselves, the life of God that comes. I knew him. I knew him in all sorts of ways. I knew there was something different in the way in which I received him at different times. I know that I know more about him than I knew in the beginning of my days. I'm 87 now, but I'm still going on in the grace of God. I still know the righteousness of God. I still long for it. I long for the peace and the wonder of God. I long that his peace will be upon all men and we might see again a world that is rich in God. And God will be able to say, I no, no longer say, I never knew you. I never knew you. Why could God say that to you? You are children of God. You are the ones who have been born of the Spirit. No, he can't say that to you. When you've been born of the Spirit, you'll know God for all eternity. You'll know righteousness and truth. You'll know the truth of Jesus Christ is for you. Not a righteousness that condemns you, but a righteousness that embraces you in life, makes you to know the life of God for yourself. To know this is the one who has brought life to me, and life to you, and the love of God. Lord, that you might be blessed this day. There are those who have faithfully given forth the word. It's the word of God. When you know Jesus, you know his life, you know his being. You know this is the one in whom you can put your trust. It's so wonderful to say, this is the faithful one. Faithful God. The faithful God who's been faithful to me through my life. I know I've for 87 years, but I'm so glad God has been faithful to me. And he's given me grace and favor to put my trust in him. Other times when I find difficulty in that, I knew it difficulty of putting my trust in him. But I came to know that that trust was worthy, that trust was righteousness, that trust was available for me in Jesus Christ. So will he bring to you today, so you know the righteousness of God. Not because you know it, but because he's the righteousness. There's a righteousness that's beyond our understanding. There's a righteousness that's beyond our need. But God says to us today, we can know that Jesus Christ. We can begin to know what it was to be in the beginning when man, when Adam and Eve walked with God, when there was no sin. There is going to be a place again when God will do away with all sin. He loved to say to you today, sin has no dominion in the works of God. God will say that. And if you are not going to get your parcel in God, I'll say today, do not have that righteousness and truth. Do not know the place where God will have to say to you, I never knew you. What an awful thing for God to say. He who loved us, that I do. He had to say in that place, I never knew you because you're the workers of sin. You've got your heart to sin. You put your heart on the things that know not God. God says to you today, when you put your right. trust in you really him, you begin to know. You put your pepper, 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 yeah. pepper, pepper, put a little trust. Ask him for me. Ask him to be faithful in you. He will do that. He's a faithful God to him that believes. That believing is an astonishing thing. We turn ourselves round <laughs> by what we believe. If we put our trust in you, we turn round again. We know once again, righteousness and truth. Not because it's ours, but because it's his. His righteousness will prevail for us. 
Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord quicken your heart. May it be one who brings righteousness to you. Because that's your portion. He knows that you can show righteousness. Not the righteousness of your own. The righteousness of the Lord, Son of God. He came to show forth that righteousness. To show forth the wonder of it. He who had no sin. You know, there's the astonishing thing is, it said, who, Jesus could say quite faithfully, who has convinced me of sin by sin? Jesus has no sin. There was no sin that he got convinced about. He knew that he was going into death, not because of you, yes, because he died, that you should know the righteousness of God, his love and mercy. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bring his grace and favor upon us. May it be you people of God again, in Jesus' precious name.